the episode where Mr. Krabs is going through like a midlife crisis. And so like, I'm ready to party! You're dead. Stop it, you're embarrassed. Girls. <laughs> Girls, right? Yeah, he was like, oh my god. <laughs> Gosh, that episode gets me so much. Eugene. That episode was far with us. Eugene. And then, like, Patrick was riding that guy's back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get off! <laughs> <laughs> no, that Weston mentioned he was excited about having me next year. Oh, yeah. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. The thing about Wes is he hasn't watched a ton of it. Like, he used to watch it when Maybe it was Gunner. We're gonna run his I watched it, like, before he I watched, watched it twenty four seven. Like he watched it as a little kid whenever I was watching it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 that works? Yes, that's true. Um, so well, we'll talk more about that when we get to the nervous system. Fair. You know, if something's hot, we pull our hand away immediately, that's a reflex. Uh, so reflex exists, of course, in humans. It has to do with the nerve impulse. Uh, instinct, though, really thinking about human in behavior, instinct really is not very influential on human behavior. Um, there's many things that are not necessarily instinctual. They are learned, uh, or it's a cause of intelligent behavior. So instincts in humans usually aren't really present, especially when we talk about all this, that we have a lot of learned behaviors and we have intelligence. So instinct is, very, is not very influential on human behavior. Um, some people would argue, you know, well, what about these? And I think they, they've found children, like, in the wild and survived. And then, well, maybe because they're not around humans, then that's different. But as long as we are raised in, by other humans, then instinct really doesn't kick in. All right. So then we'll move on to conditioned or learned behavior, which, of course, um, some of these behaviors you can learn for yourself without being taught them. Crawling, for example, you don't, when you were an infant, you really didn't have to learn to crawl, or learn to crawl from someone else. You just kind of learned it on your own, probably from movement and, and, and things like that. And you can't, a, a newborn doesn't crawl. Did you know that a newborn without kneecaps? Um, yeah, I heard that. I didn't think yeah, it was like they, legit. They grow as. I thought my Basically, your kneecap is just, just a bone. Yeah, they, they just—that's why they can't walk or crawl or anything because they don't have the kneecap. is mostly, and their skeleton is mostly cartilage. Um, their bones are very far apart. The actual F bones are far apart, and the cartilage starts becoming bone eventually. But um, they learn to crawl. They would learn to walk too. Although a lot of times, you know, as as babies, we are encouraged to walk. Right, your parents help. They're holding you up, and they hold your hands, or there used to be those little walkers. I don't know if they still yeah. sell those or not. Oh, yeah. but, um, <laughs> I know there was something about them I thought that they tipped over or they were dangerous, so that they quit selling them for a while. My yeah. little brother one morning had one of those walkers, and like he was kind of, we didn't think that he could move, okay? But he found out that he could move in it, and we used to live in a two-story house, and he fell down the stairs. Oh. I remember because I was like brushing my teeth, and and like you hear just a boom, boom, boom. Oh. <laughs> you were terrible. <laughs> and, I'm sorry. and like he like he like he literally just had a scratch, and I was like freaking out, and I was like I was like, <laughs> it's terrible. My sister was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Did he like turn over when he? Yeah. Started? Oh, okay. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He was fine then. No, nothing with the head. No, no surprisingly, head. we were like, oh my gosh. Because that's the biggest thing with mm -hmm. infants is their skull. I think because like, it was like I don't know, but he sure did. He fell down a flight of stairs. You hurt your left side. It's okay. Of your brain. I think me and like my mom was holding me one time walking downstairs and she fell and I was. Mm -hmm. I fell on the table. I was probably hit multiple times. I think, because, I know, think, oh, my cousin didn't like me when I was younger. And so my mom said that she walked in and she had like, her hands in, in my head, like to where like she was like drawing blood and she dropped me on the floor. We're, we're cool now, we're like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Yeah, no. She, <coughs> she was two years older than me. Like, my dad was her uncle, so like, she used to always like hang out with him. And I came along, I was tired of show. So my dad dropped me <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> See how All right, so of course, then some behaviors are Sorry, learned no. through teaching. Um, whether it's at school or from your parents, from coaches, from music teachers, whatever they are, you learn lots of different things through teaching, repetition, practice, right? They, those are learned behaviors. Now, Especially with, with humans, because of our intelligence, we're about to talk about intelligence, but because of our intelligence, a lot of these learned behaviors don't take as long as they do with animals. Um, some animals, you know, I don't know if you ever tried to train a, an animal, train a dog or anything, it, it takes a lot of repetition again and again and again um, to train them, you know, especially like maybe your house training or something, you know, that's, that's one of the worst things. <laughs> but, um, but humans, because of our intelligence, it doesn't take quite as much trial and error to, to learn these things. All right, so then we're going to move into intelligent behavior. No, I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? <laughs> you can take a test to measure your intelligence. Is that probably in the that, that, The afterwards. points. The points. You have to be intelligent to make something points that I do. All right, so what is intelligence, especially in humans? It's, it's defined as several different things. It's the ability to do several different things. First of all, uh, the ability to reason. That's true. That's true again. Um, it's also the ability to solve problems. The ability um, to have insights. This <laughs> table will laugh. 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 To see relationships between objects. And by the way, if, you, if you've ever taken an IQ test, I don't know if any of you have, but a lot of the questions have to do with these types of abilities. Um, especially like relationships, for, well, seeing patterns. I forgot the like GPAs and IQs were different. Is that like for a second, like I just like messed up. Uh, okay. yeah, that whole knowledge about relationships. Are they like number different? I can see every relationship. Yeah, an IQ own. test is usually, um, I forget what genius level is, 150 IQ maybe? Or maybe it's 130. But it's a number range, usually like if you're under 100, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> you don't need to take an IQ test. Just go to Cracker. I think I don't. I haven't taken one or really looked at the number. Yeah, really exactly. Long time. Mm -hmm. If you get more than four left, you're getting the right move. But the problem with IQ tests is sometimes it's people don't test well. They may be very intelligent, but they don't yeah. test very well. Um, and then we really don't know. I mean, it can measure. You get this number, but it's you know what is it that you have? Like, what does it mean that you have this high IQ? <laughs> Oh, so intelligence also means you can react to something that doesn't personally affect you, right? So, yes, you, we react to things that do personally affect us, but something that maybe happens in another country or happens with a relative, you can react to that. Because that means you have intelligence, you react to that, it doesn't affect you though. Um, we attach value to something that has no immediate value. You know, values to <laughs> well even money we attach value to money even though you know this piece of paper that has a one dollar on it or something or a hundred the number 100 on it you know, we attach value to that that's intelligence and then other objects as well we attach value to that. maybe something in your family that's been passed down or what was it your teddy bear yeah. you on your trip that's valuable to you uh, and then also emotions, reacting emotionally, that is intelligence. Now, some animals, uh, animals show some intelligence, but it doesn't mean that we are just merely animals with intelligence. There is one more type of behavior that we attribute to humans, uh, and I'll get to that in a moment, but the more intelligent the organism is, then the fewer 
innate or inborn impulses determine its behavior. Because we have so much intelligence, that's why I'm saying you know, instinct is so low for humans, instinctual behavior is so low for humans because of our high intelligence. Whereas with animals, even if they're considered intelligent animals, uh, they still operate on instinct at times. So, and like I said, just because there are some animals that are very highly intelligent, and we know that, it doesn't mean that humans should be put on the same level. Because there's one final type of behavior that's in humans that is not in animals, and that is Human human behavior. spiritual behavior. Oh, I guessed it right. Oh, good. Because so, remember how I started this. I said that man is created in the image of God. And what does it mean to be created in the image of God? What does it mean to be made in the image of God? <clears throat> so a couple of different things. Some people attribute we're made in the image of God because we have intelligence, emotions, and will. Although um, animals some animals do possess those as well. So it's probably not the only thing that makes us be made in the image of God. <coughs> there is the fact that God told man to have dominion over the earth, right, and his creation, subdue it, have dominion over it. You know, he set man as that creation to do that. There's also the fact that, you know, during, after Adam was created, Adam and Eve, and they sinned, and God cursed the earth, so this original knowledge, righteousness, and holiness that was lost in Adam's sin, So God created man with this sense of right and wrong, and then this was when man chose wrong, it kind of marred us and marred our image of God. So we're not exactly like him anymore. But the big thing is that man has a spirit, and God is a spirit. That's the difference. Because uh, everyone always asks, are animals going to be in heaven? And, you know, because we have pets, we raise pets, and we get very emotionally attached to them. They, we usually outlive our pets, right? They don't last for as long as humans do. Although there are some animals that can live quite a long time. I think of like, birds and stuff. Um, Can't cats live for 30 years? Um, average age is probably more like 16. Maybe. But there, there are some animals, even that, like, normal pets, you know, they last longer than expected, and they're they're older than expected. I mean, my dog's only lasted um, the tortoise oil. I think years. ten and twelve years. So they, you know, we can become attached to our pets, and but will we see our pets in heaven? I don't think so. I don't think animals have a spirit. You know, because man is special. So will there be animals in heaven? There may be. Perhaps God will create more. Uh, but I just don't think we'll see our pets. You know, we're not going to be reunited with our pets. Cody, <laughs> you're right. I'm so consumed Cody. like being in heaven, I'm get like, my own like the awesomeness of it. That I don't like pets. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's no reason to have animals. Although Every I've heard recently that house, we will be here. given jobs in heaven, <laughs> according to like maybe what we were good at on earth. Shoot, <laughs> Shoot. Because but, yeah, I did hear about that because so um, people, uh, the guy at my church, Pastor Mark, he was saying that like. Adam worked before the fall, right? And right. That, like he had like a purpose, not that like, that was his main purpose, but like he had like something. He had a job to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
How creative must Adam have been to name Oh, bro, my stuff is all over the place. Didn't even tell me. <laughs> he must have been very creative. I mean, God created man to be creative. He created so square. He's like, I've got this, Those you know, billions weird. and bajillions of stuff. Why don't you name it all? And it's like, okay, and then they're all different. It's like, but how do you come up with pot smoke? He's, he's creative if he created it. But then, like, was that the language that he was speaking? Yeah, but I don't know if it was English or, you know, because we had... What if it was a lost language? That'd be pretty dope. If you can make a squid, you put it that way. Well, that's what we're going to do. They're, they're oh, fish though. with beaks, Robert. Wait, what are fish with beaks? <laughs> Squids. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, but they're yeah, these little cylinders. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, doing? and also, like I said before, man has the ability to recognize right from wrong. And we are given a choice, really, in that it all comes down to that. We make a choice whether to follow and serve. God or reject him and not follow him. Certain. <laughs> so that's what it all comes down to and I think that's really what makes us different from animals. Because animals aren't given that choice. You know, they don't have a spirit. So they choose to follow after the creator or not. I think mean, that's really the distinguishing characteristic there. But evolutionary concept, they never talk about the spiritual aspect of man. All right, so moving away from that discussion, sorry, I know it's kind of abrupt, but that was just kind of an introduction to what is human and what makes us special. Hey, Oh, your voice is perfect. Thank you. Some term as a replay. <laughs> it's like when he hears a teacher ask, is he asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Only the teacher's voice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so now we're going to move into some terms and things that you need to be familiar with throughout the next few chapters. Some types of tissues and and like parts of the body and the organ systems and stuff we're going to be studying for the next few. Uh, weeks. Uh, so the anatomical term, <coughs> let's look at that. And human anatomy, by the way, it's always, you sometimes hear the word anatomy and physiology, especially if you're interested in medicine at all. Uh, you'll be taking anatomy and physiology, they call it A and P usually. But anatomy is really the study of the shape and structure of the organism and its parts. <coughs> And by the way, human anatomy can be very, very exacting. There's so many parts to a human body. I mean, we'll go over quite a bit in this in this class, but just be aware that it's not totally in depth. We're not going to learn every single muscle or bone. Or, um, that would be very detailed. But if you do take a human anatomy class, like I said, if you're interested in medicine at all, and you decide to take a human anatomy and physiology class, you will be learning it. Uh, so physiology, then, is the study of the function of the organism and its parts. So really, that's why we study, it's called anatomy and physiology, uh, because we study the shape and structure and then the function of it. You can't really study one without the other. You can't understand one without the other, so we discuss them together. No, it doesn't. Wait, that one is so like the other. Well, like the the other group in there. No, no, yeah. the other no. direction and magnitude. Yeah, no, they need to stop. <laughs> I don't yeah. like that. Oh, okay. yeah. oh. But it's not the big one. one. It's just the sad movie. <laughs> the first one was good, and they should have stopped there. The soundtrack was good. The movie was cute. They should have just stopped there. I'm ready. I'll go by myself. That's what it <laughs> Does it come out this summer? Uh, yeah, it's like in June, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so what What else can they do? Because they found a girl, right? Okay, in this trailer, they kind of explain more of the story. Like, because the that villain dude got away, that Balthazar, what's-his-face, they fired him from, like, the hero 
corp or whatever he does that he works for. For real? Yeah, they fired him and his wife. And then this is where you're not gonna like it. His twin brother contacts what? him. Yeah. Twin, twin brother? He's, he's got a twin. He's he's got got a twin. That's yeah. why. That's why. He's got a long lost yeah. twin brother named Drew, like D R U, and then <laughs> and so and they get him and and he's all like a, a villainry. It's like it's in your main history. Like let's continue the family legacy. Okay, hold on though, because in the first movie, back flashback to his childhood, there was no twin. No, it's a long lost twin. Yeah, it's a long lost twin. I don't like that. What is this? Yeah. Like a soap yeah. opera? Yeah. <laughs> so then they, then they go, like, go do heists and stuff. So. so he gets back into evil stuff? I think so, yeah. Dang. But it's, it's, like, it's like back and forth. How does that like, Michael Jackson ripoff guy like fit into the story? Oh, they, yeah, like, when that. they said let's go on a heist or whatever, they're like robbing his place. Oh, so he's a good guy? I don't think he's a good guy. He's, I really? guess they're like anti heroes, but you know, it's crazy. Okay. But they're gonna like. Do evil to evil, so... Who's ready for... So they're wrong. I'm just in early inning. I guess so. Do evil to the evil person. Who's yeah. ready for Cars 3? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, you're ready for... I'm ready for <laughs> Cars 3, but... The trailer when I first saw it for the first time okay. was so funny. Okay, literally, I saw that. We were like, I saw How it before. That funny? I saw it before, and the first trailer had, like, nothing in it. You know, did you see the first one? Is that the one where he's just spinning in the air? Yes, okay. Yeah. And I was in the... And I was seeing Moana for, like, the second time, and I took... It was this other little girl, and there were only children in there. I heard so many... <gasps> <laughs> it's following the Rocky all, series, guys. The, the three is like, the comeback. Oh, no. yeah. It's racing comeback. The three is the comeback. It's the Rocky series. Torn down and then first. four, yeah, like he's torn back. down. He he gave up his title, and now three is the comeback. And it's in four, he's gonna face Car Drago. <laughs> 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 I've never seen the second one. Really? Really? It's not like so this. It is so not yeah, worth it. Because it's about Mater, it's not about Lightning. Yeah. Yeah. The exactly. first one, I, I could watch it over and over again. The first, first one is so... Cars. <laughs> it's scary. Have you, have you seen cars? that yeah. year? Yeah. The whole concept and then was like, 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 I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then Cars 5, he, he, he teaches another Well, you guys are too far into the future. I can just go with that. You know, the, car, the cars are insects. Yeah. Is that, is that anyway, you know, the cars—they're not—they're not cars. Yeah, I know. Anatomical position, um, because all of the terms we're going to do on the next slide, I think, the are based on anatomical position. Anatomical position for a human is standing straight up, uh, arms at the sides, toes, palms, face forward. Okay, so. Palms are forward too, not not this way. That's you got palms forward. So that is anatomical position. So all of the directional terms are based on that position. <clears throat> so that's why when they talk about left and right, it's based on where it is in the human's position. So when we talk about the left side of the heart, it's on the left side of the person it's in. So when you're looking at it, it's actually on your right, if you're looking at it. But it's considered still the left side. Alright. Oh, do we get that? Um, yes. Part. Alright, this is just so you can see some of the terms. Um, he's got a, there's abs in there. He's got a belt. <laughs> <or something. laughs> Uh, so we have the cranium, the cervical area is the neck area, pectoral is the chest, brachial is the arm, okay, the thorax then includes those areas, and you have the abdomen, uh, the pelvis, and so the thorax, abdomen, and pelvis are part of what's called the trunk, then you have the legs, uh, thigh, calf, the buccal cavity is actually your mouth cavity, um, Oh, the lumbar region is the lower back region. Humans have a trunk. Side. When you said the buccal cavity, I was looking for a belt. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I said buccal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that brachial area in this arm or in his back? Brachial is the arm, the upper arm area. Brachial. Okay, it's on the side where the lip is elbow. It's all like, meh. His abs are like squeezed like to this tiny. Yes, yes, yeah. like they should down. be on like yeah. a small a little so straight so to the arm. Very tiny. I'm going to say like this torso is really skinny. Like, yeah. Really skinny. Really yeah. skinny. Yeah. It's like broad shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. He's a pork and Dorito. Okay, so here we go. Here's the directions. Uh, that you will see throughout the next few chapters. Some of them may be familiar because we did talk about them with animals, but then some of them are, are new. Uh, so anterior is toward the front, or, or they might use ventral. Both 
anterior or ventral mean the front side and stomach side. So we refer to that. And then we have posterior or dorsal is toward the back. we've seen before. So superior means upward or toward the head. And sometimes you can refer to it as directional. Like we can say our eyes are superior to our nose because they're above our nose. Mm -hmm. uh, inferior means downward or toward the feet. Same concept, you could say our knees are inferior to our pillows because they're below us. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Or cha cha shuffle? Or did you just mush two together? Just mush two together. <laughs> cha cha slide and keep a shuffle. Yeah. Oh, He's got I made, it. just made the cha cha shuffle right here. All right, superficial means near the surface. <laughs> So we can say our skin is superficial to our muscle. And then we have what's called deep. So deep is toward the inside. Superficial and deep. Oh no, I have a feeling someone's going to do that. For some reason, somebody's been singing that around Which means he's going to start what? Deep and what? Oh no! <laughs> I've heard it several times. Past week, this this week. <laughs> All right, proximal. Proximal is located um, close. It means closer to the trunk usually, or it might just be proximal. You might say proximal to another point of reference. Then we have the opposite of proximal is distal, meaning away from the trunk. lateral uh, toward the side. Uh, if you imagine a line dividing the body into halves, so away from that line. Are we going to have to know that diagram for something? No. It's just so that you can see where the things are located we're going to talk about. <clears throat> there will be several diagrams that we'll be studying in the next few chapters. I usually do like quizzes will be certain diagrams and when we take tests different diagrams. So we learn different things. Like if the first quiz we take will be the skin. We'll do a diagram of the skin. We're also going to be learning the bones in this chapter, so we'll have those diagrams. <laughs> Alright, no homework today. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So like we'll pick up there tomorrow. Oh, bye. Oh, you did? Like, okay, like, Jared, can you finish okay. up the Bible thing? Jared hates you right now. Jared, finish up the Bible thing? Sorry, you're a person. Hey, Jared, Jared, can you finish up the Bible thing? Finish those errands? 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 Finish I'll watch you back. Lane, yeah?